What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of Modern Man. In today's video, I'm going to be style breaking down Hector Bellerin. So Hector Bellerin is a player from Arsenal. He is the fenceman. If you guys haven't seen his work on the pitch, make sure you guys check it out. But for today's video, we're going to be breaking down style. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video, and let's get right into it. There's some three characteristics I want to pull from Hector that I truly believe that you guys can incorporate into your style just to improve it, just to enhance it, and bring it up to the next level. One thing with Hector is that he makes his high fashion and street wear into one, and he does that simultaneously, and it looks really good with his outfits and what he wears and what he puts together. So, so he can be wearing like Gucci pants, for example, and then he can just wear some like Babe and Ape sneakers like what he's doing right here or like a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. So there's different ways you can do it, there's different ways you can apply it and it's really just implying what you like and what you think will look good with your whole outfit and that's the beauty of mixing streetwear and high fashion together because it kind of creates its own identity in itself. When you mix streetwear and high fashion, make sure you pick out items that you feel like will stand out. Uh, I always go for things that will kind of feel like the centerpiece of attention. So I'll have like a focal point of what I wear and then I kind of accent it off with everything else I do wear with it to complement it. The great thing about mixing high-end fashion and streetwear is that you can actually go far left with it, go far right, and you can actually play with a lot of different things and different looks. To me, this is probably the best self-expression of storytelling within outfits, is wearing what you want. So next thing I wanna talk about is statement pieces and storytelling. It kind of goes hand in hand because you wanna tell a story with what you wear and how you wear it. So you kind of wanna wear within and at the same time, whatever you wear is kind of the best self-expression of you in that state of mind that day or that year or that decade. Um, Hector right here is wearing a long trench coat. I think it has a rocker logo right there. I'm not sure what that is. So he has a long trench coat and then underneath he has, he has like kind of like a lounge it actually it sounds it looks like some loungewear to be honest with you. It looks like some loungewear. And then he has Gucci loafers at the bottom. So he's definitely sporting his look. He's sporting a comfortable look, but at the same time he mixes it with the trench coat, which adds a little flair to it. So stuff like this is actually a statement piece where he's telling a story, he's telling a narrative of what he's wearing and he's enjoying what he does. Now I'm leading into the next segment is actually pushing yourself out the box. So being outside the box is very key when it comes down to fashion and it comes down to the essence of styling. You want to be able to put yourself outside the box and not be boxed in. That you got to be able to push yourself out the box with what you wear. You got to be able to try different things and really experiment with fashion because fashion is a universal thing. It's a big culture. And if you're so narrow minded with what you typically would wear, then you're missing so much more. So when it comes down to style, I always suggest push yourself outside the box, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I think that's the best way to put it. So one thing I do want you guys to check out is check out the Arcway Instagram because I'll be posting content on a daily basis. What you'll be seeing is from anything from fashion to style, to culture, to art, anything that really inspires Arcway as a brand, you guys will just see it from there. And then that way you guys can pick up what you guys like most about it and then apply it to your own style, your own life, your own culture, your own fashion. So it really shows within the style and where he goes with it. And this is something that I'm gonna be expressing as as this channel grows and actually be breaking down my style for you guys throughout the years and this should show you how I even progressed. The great thing about Hector is that he understands that pushing yourself out of the box is mandatory, it's key, especially as uh, a European, I was born in England, seeing the culture, seeing the fashion out there, they've always been ahead of this time opposed to North America. I'm in Toronto, so everything that you get from Europe comes about four to five years later. So we start picking it up from now. I always would say that always be in the environment, always be around people that are creative if you wanna express your style or know if you know someone that is really creative with style, make sure just to pick their brains about what to wear, what not to wear. So the great thing about this is that from their from the perspective of being from England, I've seen styles being pushed. I've seen fashion being pushed so many times that when you come to North America, it's like it's out the box. It's bizarre. But the great thing about this is 
that I'm giving you guys content from all around the globe so you guys can upgrade your style wherever you are. The last thing I'll talk about Hector is his grooming and that's something that kind of goes hand in hand with myself because Hector doesn't keep to one style. And I think that's really key when it comes down to your self-care and your, your grooming evolution. You're not just one style for the rest of your life. You typically, some people would be, maybe they will choose to, but we all typically go through phases in life. And with Hector, you can see him right here with a clean cut look. And then you can see him with a mustache or you can see him with a bald head or you can just, then you can start seeing him with like, his hair grown out. So there's different um, stages people grow through and grooming is something that is a part of the essence of style. Always changing it up, always improving your style or just trying to go for something different. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me breaking down Hector Bellerin's style. If you guys wanna see more content like this, make sure you guys subscribe to the section down below. Also hit the subscribe button to get the latest content on the videos here at Arcway. And then make sure you guys check out the other videos that I have posted in the past. Yet again, guys, thank you guys for checking out this video. My name is Mr. Lou, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.